He's had me laughing all day today, with silly little jokes, but where did you ever think that emotional relationship would lead to? And why would me or Jacobi want? A business partner, who wants to separate us from our wives? Because I am a grown man Dana, a man. I can't believe that I've gone backwards, and began to hurt you again. He'll do it again. I've never seen you this upset Gabar. Because you've never seen my heart this broken before. That's why. We reject what the enemy is trying to give us in this moment. We have to keep weakening these believers. I've prayed about it and I'm going. All right? His will be done. Whatever you say, Jacobi, go deep within their space, their minds, their personal thoughts, their words, phrases, sentences, vocabulary. Father willing, he has some good news to share. Sisters, we need you to come back down right away. We just received an update on the missing brother, and the search and rescue. An update. Nothing is going to happen to me. Beautiful, you really need to relax. Trust in the prayers that me and the elders prayed. Trust that we will find our missing brother. And trust that your dream was interpreted correctly. Yes dear, but the elders did not interpret my dream correctly. Sister Moriah had the same dream. And even you, yourself, had a dream about this when you were in jail. No, you are misinterpreting things Yoella. Look at how the Most High delivered me from that situation you know? And even if something were to happen? You think our Heavenly Father would spare that lawyer in a plane crash, and not spare me, as I simply sit in a boat at the port? Honey, you need to trust in my authority. Look at how he has prospered me over here. You know? Unbelievable. So you don't trust me ho- Dear? I know what I saw. And you know what you saw as well. Why can't you see it now? I just don't understand why you can't see the warnings, hun. Well then I might as well just die and never come back, since I have a wife that won't learn to trust in my favor, and in the prayers of the righteous over me. Father forbid, that I hinder you any further than I already have. Jacobi, please, be careful with your speech. The words that you say. It's just the way I feel. Just relax and stop being so super spiritual about everything all the time. It's just a figure of speech. Hun, it's a curse agreement. A strong, natural and spiritual curse agreement, that you keep speaking over yourself. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 warns us through wisdom, and reminds us that death and life, are in the power of the tongue. Hey I have an idea. Why don't you have everyone put on my favorite color until I get back tomorrow? All right? We will break my silly curse agreement by wearing yellow. Your favorite color. You want everyone in the community to wear yellow until you and the rescue team return back here? That's right. I want everyone to wear the celebration color. Yellow. Hallelujah. All praises. If for some reason, we don't return back by tomorrow, then. Wear something yellow, until we come back. Alright? How much longer will you tempt the Most High Yah Yakobi?
Shala Mama. Everyone has been looking for you. Did you tell them where I am? I told them that I knew where you were, but that, well... I told them that you needed time away from everyone, and not to come bother you. Sweetheart, thank you. How are you, hon? I'm fine. Really? I'm fine, mom. Ama, you really need to eat something. You haven't really eaten ever since they left a week ago. Oh no. Here comes Elder Grimm. Ama, please don't talk to him. What's wrong, dear? Has he caused you any problems? Well, I overheard him talking to someone on the phone about our community a few times. And I think he had something to do with this whole search and rescue going wrong. Blessings, Sister Yoella. Ama, there is something wicked about Elder Grimm. I trust the Ruach in you, Sarah. I trust what his set-apart spirit is showing us. I will resist the devil, and wait for him to flee. You know what I mean? Yes, Ama. I just came to check on you. I can imagine how hard this is for you, to have your husband come up missing for several days now. Oh, is it my clothing? This was the most yellow outfit I could find. I don't have many clothes you know. Stay encouraged. Everyone will come back soon. So she's ignoring me whole. Elder David, I just wanted to thank you, for always checking on us, and leading us in prayer this morning. Is there anything I can do for you right now? Brother Malik, something isn't right about this whole thing. It just makes no sense, that Yakobi and five other elders come up missing after a simple search and rescue mission. That last earthquake had nothing to do with this. Nothing. This is the work of the enemy I believe. I agree. I don't feel good about this either. The dreams. The warnings. The pride. And I'm trying not to lose hope. You know? Yeah. I know, all too well what you're feeling right now. Have you talked to Sarah? And Sister Yoella? I used to talk to Sarah every day, but, now, she's closing me out for some reason. She's becoming distant. And talking to Ama Yoela has been almost impossible. Yeah. Are you hanging around for the next fellowship meeting? No. I have a meeting with my lawyer that I've been putting off ever since that search and rescue last week. Elder David, I can only imagine how hard this is for you the past week. And, I recognize that you're probably hurting and real concerned about both of them. Every single day, Malik. Every single day. Just tell me what to say, and I'll say it. If you're able to connect with them, well, 
just let them know that I'm praying for them and No, I made a promise. Just tell Sarah that she can call me when she is ready. No problem, Elder. I have to go. But is there anything else I can do to help Elder? Yes. Help me investigate Elder Grimm and whoever invited him to our community abroad. Something isn't right about him, Malik. Let's find out where he came from and who he talks to. Not just him but any and all new men and women that Yakobi invited over there in the past few months. I'm on it. What do you mean, a rental in Greece? This is too much. That's an absurd amount of money. That's almost double. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but, yes. I have to increase the monthly rent payment for this apartment. Well. Miss Julisha, this is my brother Edwin. He's my business partner. Hello Edwin. Bro, it's Julisha. The video vixen and socialite that disappeared. Bro. Seriously Ed? Miss Julisha, I'll be in the hallway. Excuse me for a moment. I need to have a word with someone. But Edward. Don't ever embarrass me like that again. Dude. That's Julisha. You know, back in the day, Miss Julie Jam. Juju Julie, she makes all the money. Julie Jam, Julie Julia, yeah. Julie, Ju, Ju, make you spend all, all of your money. Honey, honey bun honey. Remember? With all of those clubs and that nice tie, I get it. Bruh, she's hot. She's a legend. She still looks the same. She's a celebrity. She's amazing. And she's a believer. A hearer. And a doer of the word. She's a woman of faith. She has a son who's old enough to be your brother. Look at you, going from being an atheist, to an agnostic ha. I'm trying to respect her as a human. Period. Then why are you going up on her rent? Because I have expenses, and possibly a baby being born soon. And that's what we both agreed on. You know? To cover the expenses for this apartment. Bro. She's a fox. She's a superstar. Do you really want the world to remember you as the man who increased her rent? For no good reason? Bruh, she's hot. She's a legend. Wow. She's still Listen to him same. talk about she's my past celebrity. like that. She's amazing. Julie, jam. That was Julie, so long ago. Jam, ju, ju, jam. We all have a past life, don't we? If only we would have met a long time ago. What if I come back to you? And say and make things right? But here I am, holding David's past against him, when, maybe, I should give him a chance. Having him unpack his heart and his mind, but, here I am, with my own past, huh? Oh I just don't know now. I mean, father. Am I making the right decision by speaking life over this situation and letting time reveal what I need to know? Through your spirit. Or did you want me to somehow move forward with him? By faith? Because, this might be my only opportunity to marry a good Yali man, who just needs a little prayer and some more work on his heart. Did I judge him, based on his past? Out of fear? Like everyone judges me? How can I help you? Let her know I did it right this time. Everything is going as planned. Let me go get her. I'll be right back. Hurry up.
It is finished. The spell has been spoken. Both of my sons are there right now, at this very moment. Unaware of how their words will hinder that born again celebrity girl. My sons are such idiots. But everything is going as planned. Now, keep your end of the deal. I need that jewelry and stone. And I also need the recipe for the spaghetti that I will give my boyfriend. What's the ingredient I should place in it? Blood. Your own blood. But I'm going through menopause. Then simply prick your finger. And here's the jewels and stones. Alright then. Got it. Thank you Destiny. Wish me good luck. Break. A leg. Good luck on stage old hag. Break. A leg out there. Well well well. Look what the cat dragged in. I need your help. I'm desperate. And. I heard you the woman to see nowadays. What a surprise. Hmm. Lukewarm believers. Just as planned. I'm not just the woman to see. I'm the goddess, to see. Your mighty one. Come to me. All that are heavy laden, and I will surely, give you rest Han. Come. Let me guess. You want destiny? To change, your destiny. Am I right? You're close, very, very close, to losing him forever, ha? Huh? All of you women are going to lose his affection and attention soon. Ha? Huh? Getting scared, aren't you? Of losing his attention? His kind heart. If I can't have him, then nobody will. No one. Operation Lukewarm Believers has begun. Get them to hug you. Give them these pieces of jewelry. Transfer this energy through hugs. Get them to accept your words. Lots of hugs. You are gorgeous. Anyone will hug you, Ruth. Speak death and enforce more bad habits with your words. Provoke through lust. Allure. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Excellent. Lukewarm believer. Speak those things as though they were. Speak death. Speak curses. Establish curse agreements. Now depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Thank you. Business is booming. So these lukewarm believers and non-believers don't have to pay you anything? There is no price for your magic? Honey, faith moves mountains. They will pay up. Believe that. For sure. There is always a payout, honey. Just have faith in me. Yoella, how are you doing, honey? I'm trusting on the Most High's process. I'm here, Dad. How are you doing? I don't know what to feel, baby girl. All I know is my son ain't supposed to disappear without saying goodbye. And he ain't supposed to leave here before me. Dad, it's not over until the Most High Yah says it's over. Let's continue to speak life over this situation and... Yoella, dear, it's been seven days. Seven. And they be down to that last rescue team. This is it, Yoella. I know, Dad. But with the most high, ya, yeah. All things are possible. Well, I'm expecting the best, but I gotta prepare my mind and heart for the worst, you know? Why didn't he listen? His behind never listens. Never. I'm just so hurt right now. Dad, me too. It's okay to be frustrated. But just remember, we will always find comfort in his promises, and he knows just how much we can bear. And this is not over. Even if I have to go out there and find them myself, you know. Why does such a loving creator allow so many challenges, huh? Dad, well, 
He never promised that this journey would be the easiest you know. However, what he did promise for us is to deliver us from all afflictions. Psalm chapter 34 verse 19 reminds us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he promises to deliver us from all of them. Well, I better speak life then and give no more place to the enemy and I better show more gratitude. Yeah, because this negative energy ain't gonna help a thing huh? Hallelujah. And let's smile when it's time to smile. Cry when it's time to cry. And trust his process. When it's time to trust and not give up. Dad, absolutely. Elder Solomon, Sister Yoella, look. It's the final rescue team. Hallelujah. All praises. This must mean that. They found them. They made it back. All praises. Yeah, but where's Jacoby? Where's my son? I ran up here as fast as I could. The final rescue team just called us down at the base and confirmed they were heading back with some of the elders who survived the waves. Hallelujah. Some? What do you mean? Some? Didn't they rescue everyone? They couldn't find everyone at all. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Let's try to relax and trust the Most High. Let's be grateful that there are survivors. All praises. Jacobi better be on this final rescue boat. He has to be. He just has to be on it. The seller should be here at any moment now. And you're sure, you are positive. That Sister Marianne Shrew will not be attending this meeting with the seller? She has nothing to do with this seller's agreement. Not at all, David. You have to remember that you're not only purchasing the store, but the seller is willing to sell you the whole building. Wait, the whole building? The entire building, David. For such a low price? Exactly. For the same low price. And you can end the lease for Marianne Shrew as soon as you take ownership of the whole building. I won't have to put Elder Elijah at risk if I own the whole building. And I can lease the storefront to Zaid. I think your prayers are being fulfilled on this one. Things are certainly coming into alignment with what I prayed for. Hallelujah. I need to take this call. I'll be right back. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the blessings and favor. But, right now, I ask that you would bless the situation overseas with my brother Jacobi and the elders and unveil the wickedness that's trying to utterly distract and destroy all of us. Father, in the name of Yeshua, by the power and authority granted through your Ruach, your set-apart spirit, I humbly ask, with all expectation, that you'd give every family represented a measure of peace to accept and process your divine will that's taking place, and give each one of us the wisdom and discernment necessary to recognize the wicked ones within our space. Hello David. I just walked past your lawyer. He said he'll be right back. So you are the seller hall. Huh? Here we are again, right? How ironic.
pray. pray. No. Please. Don't say it, Omar. Is it true? This is like a bad dream. Please, Omar. Just give us the update. We need to know if the news is true or not. So is it? Is it, babe? I'm sorry, Dana. It's over. No. I refuse to speak death over this situation right now. No. I need to call her. I need to talk to her. Hun, let's pray right now. Sister, will you join us in prayer before we make the phone call? Of course. Just give me a moment to gather my thoughts. This is very hard for me. And I can only imagine how difficult this is for you, Hun and how much of a nightmare this is, for the family. You know, no offense, but, I'm the one who fixed this apartment up after that first earthquake. You didn't even have insurance. I won't increase the rent. But I'm going to speak life over your decision and I will not. Oh wait. What? No. Sorry about that. And I'm sorry about the news report. Is there anything I can do for you all? News? What news report? Brenda is reporting live from our international satellite news hub. Brenda, thank you for providing our local newsroom and viewers with the latest update on these missing men at sea. Can you tell us more about the results of the final search and rescue mission? Thank you, Aubrey. According to our chief field reporter and the local community leaders, six men have been rescued and brought back to safety. One of those men includes a missing fisherman by the name of Jonah Jefferson. But unfortunately, the search and rescue mission has ended. The recovery team must now turn their attention back towards the cleanup mission left from the oil spill connected to last month's earthquake, and the agricultural destruction left from the pestilence outbreak. And the community mourns the loss of six men at sea. To my understanding, one of those that were lost at sea includes a very controversial local expatriate here. Is that correct? Yes, Aubrey. The local community and community abroad have identified the missing, deceased man, as Elder Jacobi Solomon. Despite Elder Jacobi's controversial past and tabloid spotlight, I'm sure that he will be truly missed by the local community here at Zion Hill Springs. Thank you Brenda. We'll have more news on this unfortunate, tragic outcome of the search and rescue mission tonight at 6. Now, on to other breaking news. A massive attack of pestilence, rare insects, and... I'm terribly sorry for your community's loss. We can talk about the rent another day. I'm going to leave, and, give you some time. I'm not really good at these types of things, so, I really don't know what to say in this moment. Goodbye Miss Julisha. Good luck. Have identified the missing, deceased man as Elder Jacobi Solomon. Despite Elder Jacobi's controversial past and tabloid spotlight, I'm sure. Those stupid believers. That's what they get. Thinking they're invincible. Sheesh. For goodness sake. Didn't that silly pastor already survive all of those gunshots? And didn't he survive a house fire, or something catching on fire? And didn't he beat his wife? cheat on her, something like that? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Remember that crazy psychic, that fortune teller that we had on the show recently? I think her name was Destiny, or something like that. I'll have her come back on the show, to boost the ratings, and talk about this. 
cult leader named the Elder Yakobi. Yeah. She can really shed some holy light on these dark souls, huh? It'll be a great news story. Lots of money to be made. Easy persecution. You know what I mean? Stupid Bible and Messiah followers. Hmm. Congratulations, David. Once again, you've made another important, successful, wise business move. As always, this will help the community tremendously. Thanks for always being my attorney. But Damon? What's up, David? I need you to do some more research on Ruth. Research? Right. Can you find out more about the previous owner of that building? Not a problem. I think I understand why you're asking about this. Thanks, man. I've got you covered. No problem. But I've got to head out. I'm running late for my next meeting. I'll catch you later. Oh no. This is not the news we were hoping for. Poor David. He's going to be devastated. David. Yes, Ruth? I'm so sorry for your loss. My loss? What do you mean? We've already signed the papers. Have you changed your mind or something? You poor thing. You poor man. I had a feeling that price was too good to be true. So now what? Oh David. Haven't you seen the news? Haven't you received a message from your community of believers? No. My phone is turned off when I'm in meetings now. What's up? I guess I'll be the first person to ever break the news to you then, huh? David, your brother is gone. Yes. He's been missing for a week now, along with 11 other men. And that's why everyone is wearing yellow, like he requested, until they all return. The rescue team returned back with six men. The search and rescue is over. It's over, David. He's gone. I can only imagine what your heart feels right now. I'd like to pray with you in this moment. David. I need to go. Let me give you a supportive hug before you go. Have you lost your mind? What kind of spirit is operating through you? Spirit. Look. Take this cross. It brings me comfort when I'm grieving. David. You are hurting right now. You are lost. You are going to grieve and mourn like never before and you will struggle to recover from such darkness in your life. But I'm here for you, in those dark moments. You will come to me for the comfort you need. That's right. And I will be there for you. No matter how early or late at night it may be. Because you need me and I need you. You see? I'm here for you. You are so attractive, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, pretty, irresistible, and I need you. Wow. It works. It really works. Yes. I'm in such a vulnerable state right now. So anything works. Baby. Is that what you wanted to hear, huh? I reject every word that you spoke over my life. In the name of Yeshua, I reject your deposit. I reject your love, your manipulation, and your plans to hypnotize my flesh. And you can take back this jewelry that you gave me. But... I speak life over my soul. I cancel any and all curse agreements you've attempted to subject me to. Once and for all, we have absolutely no connection, no relationship, no friendship, and no love interest. Repent and be free from your wickedness. Ruth. I am not. Your Boaz. I am not your Boaz. Miss Stacy? Oh, hey, Penyo. How's it going? That tall scarecrow fake minister dude is up front, 
Waiting to talk to you about something, he said. Thanks. Here I come now. I'll escort you to the front. Something might happen to you. Penyo. Try to speak life over situations. Like what? For starters. Instead of calling Ernest a bunch of names. Maybe say something like. That man who is a work in progress, is here to see you. And instead of saying something might happen to you, well. Maybe you can replace that with. I want to protect you. I'll escort you to the front. We all need to consider the power of our words, you know. Look for alternative phrases and ways to express ourselves. All right. Then consider giving the same advice to that man at the front who is waiting for you because he is a work in progress when it comes to speaking life over Gabar. Ain't he? My apologies. No, Penyo. You are absolutely right. And it's time for me to walk by faith and take care of something, once and for all. Right now. Oh wow. So I helped you? For real? You sure did. You confirmed a decision that I already was going to make today. Thank you. You're welcome then I guess. Cool. Will you come be my security guard? My pleasure. Follow me, my precious. Follow me. <laughs> I'll protect you, my precious. From the tall hazel-eyed preacher in the front. He will not make a ritual sacrifice out of you. Stop, Penyo. You were too funny. You all, let's tone it down a bit. If you haven't already heard the news by now, Elder Yakobi is confirmed as a non-survivor among the six men at sea. And Gabar is still in the office. He could use a little quiet space until he leaves. All right? Oh my goodness. Father, please bless Elder Yakobi's family and friends. I didn't know. Where is Elder David? Should we call him right now? Gabar and I tried to reach him but... He's not answering his phone. I need to check on Gabar. Where is he? He went for a walk to clear his mind and pray. Stacy, maybe you should just say a prayer and go manage Ernest first. Focus on whatever you are led to do. Remember? Right. Thanks again, Penyo. Hey. Ernest. I need to tell you something. Yeah, I need to tell you something too. Ladies first. I cannot work with you on this ministry program for the children anymore. That's it? Yeah well, I also cannot pretend like you and I have some type of relationship in front of my father. Around your religious leaders and all. Is that right? Yeah. You've got the short, bald-headed mall cop watching me, huh? Yeah, little negro. I heard every word you said about me back there. All of that mocking. You better watch your back, little bro. You call yourself a man of faith, a preacher, a follower of Yeshua, but... I don't recall ever hearing you speak life over someone. No. Hey. I'm a work in progress. Hallelujah. You know? I'm done this time, Ernest. And I can't let you speak death over Gabar anymore either. I've spent so much time making excuses for you. And not enough time, making changes, for me. You'll be back. It's not over. First Gabar. Now Penyoha. Lukorn Believer. I see you. Hem. Come in. Yeah. We have to go be with our sister right now. My heart hurts right now. I'm so numb. I have so many regrets. I never spoke life over my brother-in-law. And I never got to tell him that I forgive him, you know. 
Maybe Yoella hates me right now and that's why she won't return my calls. I just want to give her a hug right now and support her. I want my Sarah back. Yoella please sis just call me. Julisha, we have to book the next flight and leave right away. Ray. I know this is really hard for you but sis, you have to pray and seek the most high spirit for comfort and peace in this moment so that you can make wise decisions and be able to cope, you know hon? It's so hard sometimes to speak life, to pray, to receive strength. You are going through a lot right now. Guilt, sadness, loneliness, anger, grief, confusion, heartache for Yoella and Sarah. She probably blames me. Ray, she isn't responding to anyone for the past few days, hun. It's not personal. She's probably just trying to remain focused this whole time, while Jacoby was missing. You know? Put yourself in her shoes. You are overcoming difficult moments with Reggie, but you love him and would never want him to leave you. Right? Right. So imagine all of the emotions, prayers, and responsibilities Yoella has to balance the past several days. And to top it off, she's probably tired of masking her pain. Walking through this journey, with a smile that suits everyone else, except for herself. She wore the mask, for me. And for me. For me. For me. For me. For me. For me. Yes. Your mother has been through so much, and wears a mask. For me. And I'm leaving here. I don't trust anyone here. After this silly celebration of life thing that they are going to have, well, I'm coming back there. I am going to go back and help my mother file whatever paperwork is needed, and then, well, I'm going to help you find out who did this to my father and these elders you know. Sarah. But many of us are coming there to support you all and... I've already changed my clothes. I've taken off that silly yellow. I've accepted what happened. But I refuse to accept this as the end of things. No. I've got to follow this Elder Grimm. I have to. Did you know that he's already heading back there? He never even said goodbye. Not even one small condolence to the other families here? Nothing. Elder Grimm? He's coming back here? Sarah. How long was your phone broke? Did Elder Grimm ever fix it for you or something? I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. My phone works just fine. What made you think my phone was broke? Because Elder Grimm told us that your phone was broke. And not to bother you while you worked on some project. Sarah and Solomon are working on a project. She told me to let everyone know that her phone is broke. She'll call you later when she has time from another phone. Not at all. But that explains why you didn't call me, huh? And that's why I haven't called you. Because you stopped calling me back. But I asked Tanika about you every day. She told me you were avoiding her for some reason that she didn't understand. Malik. Elder Grimm must be the one, causing confusion here. He came here, to place a spirit of confusion and death upon our community. Some people are sent in our life, to open the door, so that wickedness can enter. And then, they leave. And I have a feeling in my spirit, that he has something to do with the disappearance of my dad and the other five elders at sea. So does Elder David. And so do I. We need to pray and speak life over this plot and plan against your family. Don't go anywhere alone Sarah. Go stay with your mother. Never go off somewhere alone or leave her by herself for too long. Promise me that you will follow these instructions. I promise. I'm so lost right now Malik. I'm so confused. 
pray with me, please, and I'll go back and check on my mother in a moment. But, well, I just needed to take a walk for a few minutes to call you and let you know that I... Hold on Malik. Someone is coming this way. Sarah. Can you hear me? Shalom. I should have never let her go. Father, please look upon your daughter Sarah and... Sarah. Yoella, honey. Yes, Dad. He's not coming back. But he's out there, somewhere. And if he's out there, then, he's somewhere. And well, there is hope. Honey. You've always taught me to trust on the Most High Yah, but I ain't listened to ya. But now, I listen to ya, and well, I don't blame the Most High Yah, no. And do you know why I don't blame him, for taking my son? No Dad, I don't know why. Maybe you blame me? My dreams, my faith, my shortcomings. Baby girl, I don't blame you. I don't blame nobody. Because what I learned, and what you and Yakobi teach me is that the Most High never fails. He sure don't fail. You all showed me that he never fails. And that he has a plan for each one of us. And within that plan for our life, there be a process. That's right honey, a process. We gotta trust that process. Sometimes, the hardest part of life, be that process. That unknown stage of the journey. You know? He never fails. But we fail him sometimes. And even then, he be mighty nice to us. Because he forgive us, and help us through our failures. And this is what you taught me baby girl. So take your time. Take time to heal. To accept this process you're going through. And let those same words of wisdom and encouragement that you gave me, well, let them same words wise you up real good. Let them lessons you taught me, well, let them teach you and encourage you. Well, I can't stay at the edge of the wilderness forever, Yoella. And you can't either, honey. So I'm gonna go find the brothers to come watch over you tonight. And I gotta find Sarah. She been gone longer than she said she would be. Dad. Yes, honey? Everything you said is right. And I appreciate you. But you don't have to do all of that. I think I'm ready to walk away from the edge of the sea now and face the world with my mask. So let's not burden anyone to come here and watch over me. Let's go because it's over. Rahab, where are you taking me? You'll see Julisha. But he doesn't want to be bothered. Let's give him time, Han. Wow. 
Look at all of these people. What's going on out here? Despite how the media outlets paint Elder Yakobi, and no matter how many wicked attacks are directed towards his family, they have so many supporters, in their time of need. I wonder if I should go say something to them or... Elijah, I think they've come to lay flowers and in notes of sympathy here, outside this house, because this is their only place to memorialize him. And we can just pray over our space and pray for these mourners, you know? I think that's best, Mariah. I guess I won't disturb them right now. Bruh. All you keep doing is hurting everyone around you. You think that you are better than me, huh? I'm favored by the Most High. Why are you so selfish, man? You're going to lose everything. I don't need your pity. I've got this under control. I hope that you get what's coming to you. What I do in my household is my business. My wife. My daughter. My money. We don't need your help. You never listen to anyone, Yakovi. I'm not a hypocrite. You are the hypocrite. I'm going to prove myself without anyone's support. I'd rather die than to be up under you. Yakobi. Man. You are blocking your blessings. No one will take you seriously. You're so lost, man. I might as well drop dead since you are the victim here. Yeah. Just let our Heavenly Father remove me from this place, so that I won't hinder any longer. Your brain is like a man lost at sea. You can't even see the blessings you have in front of you. Man. Get your life together. Time is running out. Well, I hope that he delivers me from this place. I can't stand being here. I swear. Stop complaining. All of you make me sick. I hope that he takes me out of here so that I don't have to burden you anymore. Calm down. Everything doesn't have to go your way. Hey, if I'm wrong then I hope that he takes me out of here. You will never understand what it's like to be me. I have to fight and work hard to get the little that I have. Then I guess everyone will be better off without me. We have to stop this, speaking death over our life. Father, you've got my attention. And I ask that you help me. Teach me how to speak life over situations when all I can see is death and afflictions. Keep me in a space of gratitude because I know that I have a lot to be grateful for. But the afflictions and moments of despair are heavy at times, in times like these. Rhea brought me here. I didn't know this was where she was bringing me. I know that you have your phone turned off, but... Well, we just wanted to check on you. You know? David, I'm here for you. I know how much you loved Jacoby and how much you care about his family. Can I sit with you for a moment? Of course you can. I just want you to know that you are not alone. You know? I just needed to pray and release my thoughts before I face everyone. You are one of the last individuals that I'd expect to want to be here. David, no matter what happened, and no matter what happens moving forward, we are all family, a body of believers in Yeshua. Sometimes, the enemy has us so caught up and distracted with the cares of this world, or petty little things and... We forget to be grateful, we forget how to love and support one another. Not in a way that we think is right, but 
in a way that we know is right, in a way that truly supports each other's needs in those dark moments. Especially when everything seems to be happening all at once. You know? So, I think it's best when we pray and ask Him for His Spirit to guide us, to show us, to anoint us with the wisdom and compassion, to simply speak life, to speak life-giving words that are feeding each other's soul, our spirit. You know? Instead of this constant flow of emotional speech and damaging words that we cannot take back, words that have power to either give life or destroy a whole community or curse agreements that condemn our soul. Right. And like many of us, we have to live with these regrets or die with these regrets. David, please don't blame yourself. You did everything that you could to help. You are hurting, beyond what words can express, huh? They need our support right now, David. I can't. I really want to, but I can't. You can't, because you feel like you will make things worse. But they need all of us. And that includes you, David. When you are strong enough, healed, and ready. When the time is right, you are needed, and wanted, and appreciated. The elders, the families that look up to you. Sarah. I need some time alone, Julisha. I appreciate you. But, I just need some time to myself right now. Understood. And I'm sorry if I said anything to trigger you. This is really difficult. But I want you to know that I'm here for you as well. I just need a moment. You know? Well, you know where to find me. May the Most High Yah's face shine on you and be gracious to you, David. Numbers chapter 6 verse 25. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace be unto you, Julisha. Man. I thought I heard Peno screaming for help. So when I went outside to look for him, he wasn't there. Wow. Really? Are you sure it was Peno? I'm positive. But I did see Gabar. He came back from his walk. He's standing outside if you wanted to catch him before he gets back to work. Thanks, Joshi. Yeah, I just want to check on him since I think he personally knew Yakobi. And I have some positive news to share with him. Let me know how he's doing. I'm praying for them. And I need to speak life over whatever Penyo was yelling about. No gossip. Just a Yah-filled word of peace and prayers. Amen. Your husband, your son, sir, alongside five of the elders. It's okay. We are strong enough and ready to hear about what happened out there. Well, they made some prideful mistakes, Yoella. Yoella, you sure you good enough? You ready to hear this, honey? Dad, 
I never knew who Jacobi was when I wasn't around, when he was alive so. This won't hurt any more than the other stories. Finish telling us what happened please. All of them were so confident in their decision to take a certain type of boat. They wouldn't listen to us. We tried to warn them about the structure of the boat and the storm that was coming. But Jacobi just insisted that everything would work out and he was confident in the direction they were heading. But even through his prideful decision, Sister Yoela and Brother Solomon, well, Jacobi ended up saving our lives. Really? He saved your life? Hallelujah. At the last minute, he made sure that all of the men that needed help, well, he gave up his own life vests and his last bag of survival food before his boat disappeared and capsized into the waters. So don't remember Jacobi as a man that made total mistakes as his final decision in life. No. Remember Jacobi as a hero. A man who made one final sacrifice to correct his mistakes. You really need to humble yourselves and be more grateful of the man you had. You were married to a hero. A perfect man. A man that built everything you see here in our international communities. You know Sister Yoela? My son disappeared as a lifesaver. Yeah. Hallelujah. My husband. The minister. The pastor. Servant of the Most High Yah. Servant to the community. Servant to a community of men that only tried to use him. Allowed him to continue in his sin when they knew he needed spiritual help, mental help, financial help. Never addressing his sins. No. Because they need a leader here. Push, push, push. Until they pushed him into a watery grave. Speak life? They want me to speak life? You all wanted me to speak life? Be strong, ah. Uh. And this is your first real experience as a born-again believer. We failed you, Dad. I know, honey. You hurt him real bad. Look, I'm happy to hear about your survival. And I speak life over all of you that survived. I pray that you and your families will prosper and learn from this. And you can celebrate my husband as your hero, your savior, your community leader. But I'd like to hear someone tell me, just tell me this. Who is going to throw me a life vest? Huh? Who is going to help my daughter heal from the trauma that your community inflicted on her? Huh? Look at my father-in-law. When I was over here, working side by side with my husband, your hero, which one of you offered to help me and my family through the most difficult times in our lives? When my father here, Jacobi's father, needed you? Even right now, you expect him to be strong, and to comfort you, when he's barely born again and needs everyone's support and love right now. Our compassionate time in reading the word with him, and consistent prayers. And I'm sorry that this community has failed you dad. Hallelujah. Sarah. Where have you been? No one could find you. Not here, Anna. You did something, didn't you? Am I right? I can feel it. Dad, let's go. Please. Yes, honey.
Thanks for sharing your story and trying to help give us some closure and some comfort about my son. I didn't mean any harm in sharing what happened, but I'm praying for you all and I'm sorry for your loss. Dad, let's go. Yes, honey, I'm coming. Tell me what's going on here. You want the truth, Brother Solomon? Someone trying to take over and replace my son here? Is that what happened here? Someone got rid of my son, huh? Go on, and speak life. Just tell me the truth. Cause my heart's a hurting and I'm mighty angry right now. Mighty angry at you so-called religious folks. Who done screwed up my whole family. Him. What? How dare you stare at me like that? You destroyed the body of my Jacobi, didn't you? Mission accomplished. My Jacobi, my Jacobi, how dare you tempt me? You need to harness your energy right now. Angel. Angel. Relax. It's not that serious. Hurry up. Bring in my lukewarm sacrifice. Excellent. Perfectly lukewarm. Ready to choose a side? Like I said earlier, I've made my choice. Have you made a choice, who you will serve? 